just gonna have to wait a while Ain't got time for messing around And it's not my style And this old town can slow you down People taking the easy way But I know exactly where I'm going I'm getting closer and closer every day And I'm almost there Almost there People around here think I'm crazy But I don't care Trials and tribulations I've had my share There ain't nothing gonna stop me now Cause I'm old 
I'm delighted to offer you my congratulations today on your graduation from UCCS. My name is Charles Greer and I graduated from UCCS, better known as Craigmore by my generation, in 1971, 50 years ago. Craigmore was the springboard that enabled me to dream and to aspire to realize those dreams. Today, I'm Professor of Neuroscience at Yale University, where I'm privileged to help shape the future of undergraduates and graduate students, and to work with my team of scientists as we seek to understand the brain. You too can aspire to realize your dreams. I want to leave you today with two quotes that reflect the philosophy that I try to live by. First is from Albert Einstein. The important thing is to not stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existence. One cannot help but be, uh, but be in awe when one contemplates the mysteries of eternity, of life, of the marvelous structure of reality. It is enough if one tries to comprehend a little of this mystery each day. And from Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Congratulations, go find your dreams. Hi, I'm Sean Sabet, UCCS class of 2014. To the class of 2021, congratulations. You didn't just survive tough classes, you survived a global pandemic. Maybe now a quote from Stephen Colbert is fitting. Life is an improvisation. You have no idea what's going to happen next and you are mostly making things up as you go along. So good luck graduates, make sure to keep improvising. Hi, I'm Carissa Gump, UCCS class of 2010 and 2008 United States Olympian. I wanted to say congratulations on a job well done to the class of 2021. Best of luck to you on your next adventure and welcome to the UCCS alumni family. Hi, I'm Steve Dennis from the last century, class of 1970. Lots has changed since I left campus 50 years ago armed with an MBA. I don't even recall having a commencement ceremony. We just slipped away and begin life in the real world. Thinking of this commencement, I'd like to paraphrase the late British Prime Minister Winston Churchill. This is not the end of your education. It's not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. Education is a lifelong journey, and every day out in the real world, you'll have plenty of opportunities to learn and grow. Grasp those opportunities. Now you just need to find your niche. Take advantage of the hard work that led you to your degree. So today, enjoy, and I wish you a good life. Hello, my name is Amelia Loving, and I'm a UCCS grad, class of 2017. I just want to take a minute to say congratulations. I know firsthand that the journey of UCCS is pretty unique, but that's great because now you have something unique to give. I hope you'll take the knowledge and skills you've developed with your time on campus out to wherever you're landing, whether that's Colorado Springs or across the globe. Know that wherever you go, you can always connect with other UCCS grads, as you will now and forever be a UCCS alumni. Again, I just want to say congratulations, and I hope you'll come around soon. Don't be a stranger, and go Mountain Lions. Hi, class of 2021. My name is Consuelo, class of 2017. I just wanted to wish you a big congratulations on this big milestone. Um, it took a lot of hard work and determination, and you made it. Um, so make sure you still celebrate. Congrats. Congratulations, class of 2021. My name is Keely Griego, and I graduated from UCCS in 2018. I hope that each and every one of you is very proud, not just for earning your diploma, but for being resilient and for doing so during a pandemic. As you move on to your next chapter, be patient with yourself, allow yourself grace, follow your passion, advocate for what is right, and believe in yourself. Congratulations again, class of 2021. Hello and welcome to Washington, D.C. My name is Rob Harliston, UCCS class of 1983. Unfortunately, for the second year in a row, traditional commencement ceremonies have been interrupted because of the global pandemic. But we're gonna get through this. It's been quite a year. Things have changed a little bit. Some things have stayed the same. But there is something new and different. The fact that you and now have a UCCS degree, and armed with that degree, you can go out and do anything you want and be anything you want. We're looking forward to seeing great things from this new class of mountain lions. 
I'm still here at C-SPAN, coordinating coverage of Capitol Hill. If you ever get into DC, look me up. I'll take you out for a drink, maybe even some lunch. Good luck. Go Mountain Lions. Hi, my name is Stephanie Adams, the site director here at UCCS Downtown and a two-time alumna of UCCS myself. I know firsthand how difficult it is to balance the crazy, especially in a pandemic, and put your academics first. But congratulations to the class of 2021 because you did it. We're so proud of you. I hope you take the time to celebrate your accomplishment, but most importantly, thank those who helped you get to this place. It's not possible to succeed on your own, but most importantly, celebrate those who helped you get to this point. Success is never a one person game. We're so excited for you and thank you so much for making UCCS look good. Congratulations. My name is Jesse Burns. I'm a graduate of the Department of Communication and former editor of the Scribe newspaper at UCCS. For the past seven years, I have lived and worked in Washington, DC as a political journalist. Today is an exciting time, and whether your next steps involve more education or delving deeper into your career, I encourage you to do it with vigor and purpose. Relish today, but do not rest on your laurels. Press ahead, and the sky is truly the limit for your potential. Congratulations, and welcome to the UCCS alumni community. What is up, class of 2021? My name is Justin Miller. I was a graduate of the class of 2019. I got my degree in mechanical engineering with minors in electrical and aerospace engineering. I now work at Lockheed Martin as a systems engineer. If there's one piece of advice that I could give you today, it would be to hold on to your friends and the connections that you've made through these years of college. Those friends and connections that you've made will last a lifetime as long as you cherish and hold on to them. Again, congratulations, and I'm excited for you to move on to this next chapter in your life. Thanks. Hey Mountain Lions, class of 2021. You did it. You reached the finish line that is graduation. Congratulations. You all have overcome so much, especially this past year. And I know it wasn't easy, but here you are on your graduation day. I hope that you all can reflect back on all that you've done and all that you've accomplished with your time here at UCCS. We are so proud of your hard work and resiliency. And now we want you to go out into the world and continue to do great things. And remember, wherever you go from here, you will always be a Mount Lion. Congratulations, graduates. Hi, my name is Jackie Jewell, and I'm a strategy planning advisor for FedEx Services and a member of the UCCS MBA class of 2020. Congratulations to everyone graduating today. Your hard work has really paid off. Remember to continue to chase your dreams, never stop trying, never stop learning, live life to the fullest, and remember to give it nothing but your very best. Congratulations and welcome to the UCCS alumni family. Hi Mountain Lions, my name is Kyle Boyle, College of Business graduate from the class of 2018. Just here today to extend my sincerest congratulations to all of you on an incredibly well thought, well earned degree, especially given the crazy tumultuous pandemic we've had the last year. What a way to finish strong and earn that degree and just here to wish you the best of luck on your next steps, whatever that might be. Go Mountain Lions. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2021 virtual spring commencement exercises celebrating graduates of the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs College of Engineering and Applied Science. I'm Dr. Christopher Bell, Associate Professor of Communication, and I will be serving as today's commencement marshal. Life has many passages, the transitions from one period to another. We celebrate these passages with ceremonies steeped in tradition. Commencement is one of these important traditions. It is a ritual for the human spirit, signifying great accomplishment and moving onwards to a world of possibilities. Today, is a momentous day, but it's also a different day. We had all hoped to be celebrating together in person as we have since the first UCCS alumni graduated in 1966. The past year has been an extraordinary time for us all, but we accept the situation we face and we honor you in a virtual format out of care and concern for your health and the health of your friends and family. 
We honor our spring graduates' past achievements and celebrate their bright futures. Without further ado, congratulations to the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs class of 2021. Now observe as the Visual and Performing Arts University Choir, directed by instructor Solvay Olson, sings the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we We have assembled today a microcosm of our entire world. Our graduates represent states from across our great nation and countries from across the globe. As you graduate today, you will go back out into the world using the work of your minds and your hearts to make it a better place. We would not stand where we are today without the support of so many. We thank all those whose dedication to the university has helped bring all of our incredible graduates to this point today. In particular, our thanks to the Board of Regents and President Kennedy for their support of our campus and today's ceremony. Thank you also to our faculty and staff who embody the highest qualities of scholarship and inquiry. Thank you for setting a strong example for our students, community, and the world. Commencement is a time of profound reflection and profound joy. It is a time for us to consider all the work we have accomplished and the work that is yet to be done. Challenges are ever present in our lives. I don't need to remind you of this. We have all lived through an extraordinary year. The coronavirus impacted our campus, city, state, nation, and the world. Students, graduates, you rose above every single setback you faced. You demonstrated courage and resilience, and you did not give up on your dreams. Your triumph today is not just that you have succeeded in the face of difficulty. It is that you are stronger and better equipped to take on any obstacle that may come your way. Now, you begin your journey as a graduate of this university carrying your torch into the world. So commit to being outstanding citizens. Stand up for what is right and good. Practice compassion, patience, empathy, and respect. Be willing to serve. Give your time and talent generously to the communities in which you live. Engage in respectful discourse that protects the right of all people to express themselves freely. This will lead to new knowledge, new understanding, and new ideas. Respect each other's differences, but remember to also seek out what unites us. Use both to advance our community, our nation, and the world. Graduates, I know you are up to the challenge set before you. You will achieve it, just as you have achieved so much already. We now take a moment to celebrate those achievements. We are so proud of our graduates, who are the first members of their family to graduate from college, who transferred to UCCS 
from a community college or other institution, who are international students, who worked full-time or part-time while attending UCCS, and who volunteered in this great community, in their home community, or in some way give back to others while attending school. Few of us achieve a milestone such as earning a college degree without the support of our family and friends. I'm sure each graduate would agree that they could not have come this far without the support of very special people in their lives. And so, class of 2021, as you celebrate today with or without family members and friends, please know every member of the Mount Lion family is celebrating and honoring you and your accomplishments. We offer you our heartfelt congratulations and bright wishes for your future. Now, it's my privilege to introduce Mark Kennedy, President of the University of Colorado System. Congratulations, University of Colorado Class of 2021. You've traversed a turbulent period to reach this milestone and you should be proud of yourselves. I applaud your resilience and perseverance which enabled you to achieve this distinction. On behalf of the entire university, we wish we could gather in person to congratulate you and thank your family and friends for their support of your educational journey. Nonetheless, our celebration of your success is in no way diminished. Your hard work and effort to earn your CU degree will unlock countless opportunities that will benefit you, your loved ones, and your community throughout your lifetime. Rarely has an event forced us to alter our lives as dramatically and as quickly as the pandemic has done. During the past year, we endured isolation from and loss of friends and loved ones, and we're acutely reminded of the importance of both. I encourage you to always be on the lookout for those in need of a friend. As someone once told me, be a friend and you will never be alone. Throughout the uncomfortable and at times painful uncertainty, you successfully navigated sweeping restrictions and overcame unexpected hurdles. The silver lining is that in the process you honed your ability to adapt, a skill that will serve you well in the years ahead, particularly given the rapid acceleration of technology the pandemic has unleashed. I urge you to continue honing this skill. Your ability to navigate seismic changes will be a key determinant in your future success. Speaking of technology, while well, many social media platforms have entertained us, taught us, allowed us to connect and support each other, others have elevated harmful voices. I urge you to use social media for good. I promise you that your life will be more rewarding if you remain positive and travel the high road. Be forgiving so that you will deserve forgiveness. Be conscious of your news sources and be curious. Seek news from respected outlets, ideally those with differing perspectives, to hone your critical thinking. Consider the data. In short, use the skills you learned during your time here at CU. They have prepared you well. Curiosity, lifelong learning, and critical thinking will benefit every aspect of your personal and professional lives, not to mention your mental health. Further cultivating these skills will yield tremendous returns. As automation makes career paths less certain, it's critical to find your center, your anchor, your higher calling. Don't measure your self-worth by others' affirmation, especially not the number of likes on your social media posts. Each of you has a purpose to pursue that benefits the world and is invaluable. Devote your life to this purpose. As we look ahead, we are buoyed by the power of vaccines to control the pandemic. We are excited for opportunities to meet in person, travel, enjoy sports, live music, and the arts with friends and loved ones. We celebrate your success and that of our nation and the world in emerging from the pandemic to a more normal life. CU's faculty and staff devoted themselves to delivering high quality instruction and services despite pandemic restrictions to advance you along your path to a degree. They deserve our appreciation and our applause. Again, congratulations, University of Colorado, Class of 2021. We honor your achievement. We are proud to welcome you to the CU alumni family.
Thank you, President Kennedy. My name is Aiden Meadows. As student body president, it is my honor to thank you for exemplifying the core values in the UCCS creed. Purpose, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence. I am also pleased to acknowledge the class gift, a tradition that started with the spring 2015 class. Since its inception, more than $52,000 has been raised for scholarships and vital student programs by graduating students. This year, the class of 2021 is leaving its mark at UCCS with donations to Clyde's Cupboard, Mosaic, and scholarship funds that will pay it forward toward the next generation of mountain lions. All donors have received a blue cord as a memento of their thoughtfulness. Thank you for your generosity. It is now my honor to welcome this year's recipient of the 2021 Student Achievement Award and this afternoon's speaker to address our fellow graduates. Thank you, Aiden. My name is Gwyneth Rosencrantz, and as the first openly transgender student to receive this award, I am honored to be speaking today. There are a couple of people we need to thank for getting us here. To our family and friends, thank you for supporting and encouraging us in earning our degree. I'd like to personally thank Sloan Gonzalez for being my advocate in getting here, and John Dagan for being my hero when I needed it most. John goes by the name Jay among the students who know him, but the only way you'd get the privilege of meeting him is if you roam the halls of the dorm room buildings at around 3 a.m. My freshman year, I often found myself pacing these hallways in these early hours, struggling with severe depression and insomnia. I would have just stayed up in my dorm room, but I didn't want to wake my roommate. Jay was a campus security guard and walked the floors of these eerie hours of the night as students slept, doing hero work that most people didn't notice. So Jay and I stumbled upon each other in a miraculous sort of way. He'd find me outside my dorm room with puffy crying eyes and stop to check in with me. This security guard was the most kind and empathetic human to ever stumble into my life by chance like this. Jay would give me advice, be a listening ear, and show up for me, always offering support. In my first semester of college, Jay promised that if I continued, he'd be at graduation, cheering for me in the audience. Things look a bit different than we expected, but hi Jay, I did it. As the year progressed, seeing Jay became my favorite part of living at UCCS, and he encouraged and inspired me to keep going. Within the darkness, this incredible human had a flashlight. UCCS felt like a mountain that I needed to climb. Students were hikers, trails were classes, and the peak served as a degree. With no guide to aid me in my journey or to teach me how to interpret the map, I did a lot of wandering. As I hiked up the steep trail, I came to forks in the road where I changed my degree and embarked on a new path many times. There were dead ends, places where the trail was overgrown, false summits, and thunderstorms that came out of nowhere that caused me to slip and fall. When I fell, I got angry. Covered in scrapes and bruises far offset from where I needed to be, I wondered why there were no warning signs. Why was there nothing to tell me that if I took the first path off to the left, it would be easier? And if I took the winding path that curved off to the right, I'd likely end up wishing I took the first path. Furthermore, how come nobody was going back to try to fix the problems that were clearly causing issues for hikers on the poorly maintained trail? As the moon began to rise above me and night covered the terrain, I couldn't see anymore. That's when I met my first flashlight person. They came running down the mountain to help me out when I was lost and used their steady beam of light to guide me back to where I needed to be. Can I borrow that? I asked. Instead, they gave me my own. I could have used the flashlight to keep progressing uphill towards my degree, but instead I went backwards. I picked up the trash I'd passed on the trail, I arranged rocks in the dirt to serve as warning signs, and I helped find other hikers who got lost as well. The mountain we climbed had flaws, and all of us hikers know that. As a transgender student, I couldn't even find a bathroom I felt comfortable in, 
wondering why there weren't gender neutral restrooms. In fact, many, others, many other hikers found that the trails weren't designed for them to reach the top. The amazing thing is that we still made it to the mountain's peak. We made it all the way here despite the battle. We can look back onto the gruesome trails and say, good riddance. Or we can use the flashlight that college gave us to shine light on issues that need fixing. We are now equipped with powerful skills of being able to conduct research, write persuasive arguments, and educate others so that we can make the branching and winding trails we come across in life more accessible and inclusive. These abilities create our flashlights. When we approach our mountains in life, we will shine light on the problems we come across and do the work to help fix them. Like Jay, we will be able to spot those who need help and aid them back onto the trails. Look out onto the horizon at the top of your mountain and watch the sunset with the peace of understanding that you have the tools to face the coming twilight and all the nights to follow. Congratulations on earning your flashlight. Thank you. Before recognizing today's degree recipients, we're excited to acknowledge a group of students who have reached a milestone in their education. These individuals have completed 54 credits through an inclusive higher education pilot program for students with intellectual and developmental disabilities, supported by Senate Bill 196. We take pleasure in recognizing each of these students. We are honored today to celebrate alumni who graduated 50 years ago, identified as golden graduates. These members of the class of 1971 helped build the foundation of what our university has become today. We are honored to have these golden graduates with us today, virtually. Please join me in honoring these alumni, their achievements, and their contributions to UCCS. Thank you, Chancellor Reddy. Today, we also recognize graduating Air Force and Army ROTC students who commence service to the country upon commissioning. We also recognize graduating active duty students as well as veterans who have already served the country. Please know how much we appreciate you and are proud to recognize you all. At this time, we will begin to confer the Spring 2021 Earned Degrees for the College of Engineering and Applied Science. We will do this in three groups. First, doctoral, then master's degrees, and finally, baccalaureate degrees. Chancellor Reddy, upon the recommendation of the Faculty of the Graduate School, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degree, Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science. Dean Klebe. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Graduate School and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon these candidates the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science and welcome them into the community of scholars. Congratulations. Jabril Omar Alamari. Dissertation, Web Browser as a Computation Container. Advisor, Dr. Edward Chow. Abdullah Hindi Aljuni, Dissertation, Towards Effective Multitask Adaptive Ticks Timer in Linux Kernel for Full Tickless Function. Advisor, Dr. Edward Chow. Mark Moreno Lopez, Dissertation, Evaluating the Interference of Noise when Performing MRI Segmentation. Advisor, Distinguished Professor Dr. Terry Bolt. 80 Pi, Dissertation, Profiling and Improving Performance of Data-Intensive Applications in Cloud Systems. Advisor, Dr. Xiaobo Zhao. Chancellor Reddy, upon the recommendation of the Faculty of the Graduate School, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degree, Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering. Dean Klebe, upon the recommendation of the Faculty of the Graduate School, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon these candidates the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering 
and welcome them into the community of scholars. Congratulations. Arkan Walid Al Kamil, emphasis in electrical engineering. Dissertation Dynamic Reconfigurable Architectures to Improve Performance and Scalability of Crypto Systems on Embedded Systems. Advisor Dr. Darshika G. Pereira. Gary Allen Frazier. Emphasis in Electrical Engineering. Dissertation A Process Dependent Generalized Compact Model for MOS Transistors. Advisor Dr. Carlos Paz de Arajo. Srikanth Ramadurgam. Emphasis in Electrical Engineering. Dissertation, Optimized Embedded Architectures and Techniques for Machine Learning Algorithms for On-Chip AI Acceleration. Advisor, Dr. Darshika G. Pereira. Chancellor Reddy, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Graduate School, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degree, Doctor of Philosophy in Security. Dean Klebe, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Graduate School, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon these candidates the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Security and welcome them into the community of scholars. Congratulations. Henry Collier, Dissertation. Enhancing Information Security by Identifying and Embracing Executive Functioning and the Human Behaviors Related to Susceptibility. Advisor, Dr. Edward Chow, hooded by his wife, Heidi Collier. Abdelhamid El Jazeel, Dissertation, Cyber Anonymity Based on Software Defined Networking and Onion Routing, SOR. Advisor, Dr. Edward Chow. Randall Lane George, Dissertation, An Experiment to Determine if Following a Process Improves Cyber Security. Advisor, Dr. Edward Chow, hooded by Dr. Rick White, accompanied by his wife, Christy George. Scott Melton, dissertation, network security and quality of service assessment for hybrid software defined networks. Advisor, Dr. Edward Chow. Chancellor Reddy, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Engineering and Applied Science. I have the honor to present these candidates for the degree Master of Engineering and Master of Science. Dean Rabin, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Graduate School and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon these candidates the degrees Master of Engineering and Master of Science. Congratulations. Master of Engineering. Master of Science in Computer Science.
Master of Science in Electrical Engineering. Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Chancellor Reddy, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Engineering and Applied Science, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Innovation and Bachelor of Science. Dean Rabin, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Engineering and Applied Science, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon these candidates the degrees Bachelor of Innovation and Bachelor of Science. Congratulations. Bachelor of Innovation in Computer Science. Bachelor of Innovation in Computer Science and Security. Bachelor of Innovation in Game Design and Development.
Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Bachelor of Science in Data Analytics and Systems Engineering. Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering.
Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering.
This concludes the conferring of undergraduate degrees. We have three remaining time-honored traditions to complete our ceremony today. To start, Grace Benskin, member of Students Today, Alumni Tomorrow, will speak on behalf of the Alumni Association. I want to acknowledge that those graduates who are members of families with multiple generations of alumni having attended UCCS have received black, gold, and silver colored legacy cords, which we hope they will share with pride with their families. We are honored to recognize all alumni who are joining us virtually today. I now ask that all graduates please rise wherever you are to be initiated into the Alumni Association. It is my pleasure to officially recognize you as new alumni of the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. You join the ranks of more than 53,000 graduates who have earned a degree at this campus of the University of Colorado. Alumni continue to be an important link to our university. Many of you will remain here providing a connection between our university and the community. Others will leave, but as graduates, you will all share one commonality a lifelong bond with your alma mater. We will continue to keep you connected to the university in years to come. In return, we seek your involvement and support, not only to keep your alma mater strong, but to make her stronger. The Alumni and Friends Association is proud to congratulate the class of 2021 on your great achievement and wish you success in the years to come. It's an honor tradition at the University of Colorado commencement ceremonies to read the charge to the graduates, given first by the late CU President George Norlin to the class of 1935. Dr. Norlin was a professor of Greek at CU from 1899 to 1942. For 23 of those years, he served as president of the university, and the library he helped plan during that time now bears his name on the Boulder campus. While at CU, President Norlin was an eloquent champion of democracy and human equality during a time of serious threats to those principles across the nation and the world. In 1924, the governor of Colorado reportedly took daily orders from the Ku Klux Klan, which controlled the legislature. One of those orders was that President Norlin was to rid the faculty of all Catholics and Jews. Norlin refused, and the university received limited funds that year. In the early 1930s, President Norlin was an early and vocal critic of Hitler's Nazi regime in Germany. He devoted his career to two great causes, the life of the mind and the love of this university, which he articulated in this charge to CU graduates. You are now certified to the world at large as alumni of the university. She is your kindly mother and you her cherished sons and daughters. This exercise denotes not your severance from her, but your union with her. Commencement does not mean, as many wrongly think, the breaking of ties and the beginning of a life apart. Rather, it marks your initiation in the fullest sense into the fellowship of the university, as bearers of her torch, as centers of her influence, as promoters of her spirit. The university is not the campus, not the buildings on the campus, nor the faculties, nor the students of any one time. Not one of these or all of them. The university consists of all who come into and go forth from her halls, who are touched by her influence, and who carry on her spirit. Wherever you go, the university goes with you. Wherever you are at work, there is the university at work. What the university purposes to be, what it must always strive to be, is represented on its seal, which is stamped on your diplomas, a lamp in the hands of youth. If its light shines not in you and from you, how great is its darkness. But if it shines in you today and in the thousands before you, who can measure its power? With hope and faith, I welcome you into the fellowship. I bid you farewell only in the sense that I pray you may farewell. You go forth, but not from us. We remain, but not severed from you. God go with you and be with you and us. Go Mountain Lions. Welcome to the great extended family of the university. We are continually linked together as you take your place in our society and the university shapes its own destiny as one of the world's greatest universities. And now, 
the moment you've all been waiting for. Will all of those wearing regalia and receiving bachelor's degrees today please signify the completion of your studies by moving the tassels on your caps from the right to the left. Graduates, before we end, we would like those with a cell phone to take a selfie and share it on social media with the hashtag UCCS2021 or email it to alumni at uccs.edu. Photos we receive will be posted on the Alumni and Friends Association Facebook page where you can tag yourself to share with friends and family. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the graduates of the UCCS College of Engineering and Applied Science. This concludes our 2021 virtual spring commencement exercises. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations to the College of Engineering and Applied Science spring 2021 graduates. Faculty and staff are very proud of the perseverance that you have showed during the incredibly challenging times of the global pandemic. We look forward to celebrating your future successes, whether in industry or as you continue your education. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hello, graduates of the Department of Computer Science, the College of Engineering and Applied Science, and the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. Congratulations, and a very good day to all of you. You are our pride and joy. What you have accomplished and become today are the fruit of your hard work, assisted and fueled by the faculty and staff of the department, the college, and the campus, and the wonderful community we live in. I, Jugal Kalida, as the chair of the computer science department, commend you wholeheartedly on your great achievement and bid you farewell for now as you embark upon a new and exciting phase of your lives. I hope and pray you'll excel in your jobs and rise high, start new companies and employ hundreds if not thousands, and do great by yourselves and your families, your communities, and this wonderful country and the planet we all live in. God bless. Hi, my name is Peter Gorder. I'm chair of the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department. And I just wanted to extend my congratulations to this year's graduates. I am certain that this isn't the way that you envisioned your commencement ceremony happening when you started your program. Um, but it is what it is, and we will get through it. And you have gotten through a lot, and I hope that you recognize the accomplishment. You have persisted through circumstances that none of us anticipated. And you'll have wonderful stories to tell as you get down the road. This is an exciting time in your life. I wish you the very best as you move on. Remember that the lessons that you learned in the classroom were certainly important and will continue to be valuable to you. But the lessons that you learned outside the classroom are going to be just as important. So take those with you as you leave here and and move on to your next adventure. And don't forget us. Best of luck and again, congratulations. Hello, my name is Lynn Ann George. I teach in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. And I take this opportunity to congratulate all of our 2021 graduates. It's been amazing seeing you go from your freshman year to now a graduate of the university. I encourage you to keep up the hard work you've put forth these last few years and to go forward and make great contributions to your field and help improve our world. Again, congratulations. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. We are very proud of your accomplishments and wish you all the very best in all your future endeavors, both the professional and personal. Have a wonderful day. On behalf of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, Congrats, Greetings class of 2021, Chris Malik here from Computer Science and Game Design. And you know, when I think about what you've managed to accomplish to be here today, all I can say is, it was a triumph. I've made a note here, huge success.
that's a little something for my game design people. But in all honesty, congratulations to all of the graduates. I know that sometimes it felt like today would never come, especially for the past year, because it was a little bit of a one of these guys. But you're here. You've risen to the challenge and you've overcame it. And I know that no matter what obstacles you might run into in the future, I know you'll rise to those challenges as well. Thank you for all of your hard work. And I can't wait to see what amazing things you'll do in the future. So for one last time, uh, I'm gonna end this meeting waving at a camera. Good luck. Today we celebrate our graduates. Engineering and computer science students that are graduating today are an extraordinary group. Our graduates span bachelor's, master's, and PhD degrees. In your academic experience, you have all been confronted by rigorous and analytical challenges and proven your ability to utilize engineering and computer science concepts as the building blocks for a broad array of technical solutions. You, your professors, and your colleagues have invested hours upon hours to prepare you for the future. The future is relying on you to design, analyze, and test concepts with integrity, competency, and work ethic. As I consider my own engineering career, I have to say it is really fun. We have the opportunity to create the future. Our skills are unique and highly valued. Engineers and computer scientists see the world a little differently. You need to know that your inspiration, your ideas, and your abilities are not accessible to everyone. Your colleagues recognize a great idea from a good idea, and I encourage you to seek those great ideas. Society is relying on us to turn great ideas into great solutions. We pride ourselves on seeing possibilities while considering a broad array of constraints. As you move forward to employment in a great industry or continuing your education, I wish you well. What we do is important, whether it is bringing new knowledge to our discipline or responsibly applying our knowledge to the next challenge. Welcome to a career that you have earned. It is time to step up to the next challenge. Congratulations. Today marks the end of one journey and the beginning of another and a transition that more than 53,000 mountain lions have experienced. You have spent the last few years working to this moment. And while it wasn't in the format that we wish we could have celebrated, know that we are proud of what you accomplished and how you adapted in your final semester. You're going out into a world that's more reliant than ever on technology and is craving the innovation that you're uniquely able to provide. You should set forth with the knowledge that you are equipped with, the tools to make a true difference. On behalf of all the faculty and staff at UCCS, congratulations and stay Mount Lion strong.